When I was at school, I always had a really strong interest in home economics, nutrition and food science. And I'd also heard of past pupils at my school that had done it as well, from what they said about it and also attending both the open day and the applicant day, it sounded like the perfect degree for me. I decided to study consumer management and food innovation because I have a big interest in food nutrition, but I also have a business background. I did business A level, so I kind of wanted to combine the two subjects. I'm going into teaching, which is something that you wouldn't necessarily think to do within this degree. So it just shows you how broad of a degree it is. We study a wide variety of um, modules on this course. So it can range from like new product development, applied sensory science. We've also done health and consumer lifestyle. And then we've also taken more broad modules such as accounting and human resource management. Again, like no day is ever the same. And it gives you, an, it gives you the chance to try different avenues that you maybe wouldn't have even considered before. So there's a really wide range of facilities here in Coleraine, which kind of adds to our learning and, you know, makes it a bit more fun and a wee bit more interactive. So we have the Consumer Insight Lab, which has um, virtual reality equipment, which is really exciting. And it's good that we get to use this on this degree. And then we have the Food and Consumer Testing Suite, also known as FACS, where we can test different food and drink and do surveys and, and it's kind of like a, a blind test and suite. And then we have the kitchens as well where everything is prepped and prepared. You would have your lectures and your seminars typically back to back, which is quite nice because then you do get your days off. It's not Monday to Friday and it's very practical heavy. So whether you're in the kitchens or you're working in your groups and classrooms or whether you're in the sensory labs, you're always putting your theory aspect into a practical component, which is quite nice, because I think for me especially, I learn a lot better. We have worked with industry throughout the degree. We've worked with Augs, a company in England, to develop their mince pies for Christmas time. And at the moment, we are developing a restaurant in Belfast. So to kind of bring a new kind of experience to the Northern Irish consumer. So it kind of puts what we've learned over our three, four years into practice, into a presentation at the end, and it also creates strong links with businesses. So when you leave, you've got those real life projects that you can talk about and that you can put in your CV, or you can even get a job from it. You really develop uh, both personally and professionally. For example, I worked with White's Oats. They had given us the brief of using their waste oat flour. So we developed a product for them and then we actually had to present it to them um, and see what they thought. And you know, it really gets you into the way of thinking how industry think, which was really insightful and it was really enjoyable to work on such a big project with them. In my first semester of final year, we collaborated with vegan cake business based in England and they wanted us to trial a new vegan mince pie that they were launching for Christmas. We got to make use of our sensory trial rooms. We also got made use of the kitchens. And we also got, alongside that, we also got the opportunity to do some food photography for them as well. Again, great experience for maybe graduate jobs or going out into the world of work. You have those skills already, so you don't have to learn them and you're already one step ahead of everyone else when you get out into the world of work. What initially attracted me to the course was the opportunity to, to do a placement year. So I seen that past consumer management and food innovation students had gone to places like Moy Park, Graham's Bakery and maybe as far away as like Disneyland or the Country Cubs in Florida. So last year I undertook my placement in London with um, Evolve Hospitality. Um, it was in recruitment and I got the opportunity to work on their backup house team. So it was um, recruiting chefs and kitchen porters um, for different clients right across London. It was really nice um, coming into final year knowing that I had a graduate job secured. Um, it definitely took the pressure off a little bit and it was definitely thanks to the placement team here at the Coleraine campus that I was able to secure that position. I really enjoyed living up in Coleraine because I find that you got the best of both worlds. You know, you can still kind of go out and party and get a bit of crack, but you can also go for nice walks along the beach, like Port Sturt and Port Rush are beautiful. And there's also like a wide variety of clubs and societies here on offer. I, th I feel like there's something for everyone. So, uh, for example, I'm a member of the Irish Dancing Society here at the Coleraine campus and we meet every week and it's just a great way for us to get together, share an interest and also meet new people as well. I think a really good thing about the course that I would recommend to other people is that the skills that you learn throughout the degree are so transferable. So, for example, your analytical thinking, your presenting skills, your research, which is huge 
throughout, you know, from day one you start research tasks, which then help you in your final year, it doesn't become as daunting. Your group work, and then within your group work you have your leadership, and I just think that the skills that you learn are so transferable to actual real life situations that you definitely become a better person.